I love my PlayStation 4 scuff controller with four back paddles. As many of you may know, I ended a long-term relationship during the pandemic, and I reached out to my ex and asked her if I could send her some money so she could mail me my controller because it was one of the things that I didn't move. So that's when I find out that she threw it away. No big deal, right? All controllers with back paddles are the same. Not really. I tried out the Razer Chroma V2, and the paddle placement, the ergonomics of it, just didn't really work for me. It did have trigger stops, which is a step in the right direction, but I just didn't like the overall function of the controller. I checked out the newest version of the Scuff, and this is the direction they're going with the paddles now. I just didn't really like it, it didn't feel good in my hand. I did a ton of research on the subject and decided to go with Cinch Gaming. You can see where the buttons are, it's kind of different from the paddle placement from other controllers, but they also have mouse click triggers, which can be a huge advantage in FPS games. The customization option on their website is actually very easy to use. You can customize everything down to the faceplate and the backplate. And you guys can also see that I am programming how I want my back buttons to function and what buttons I want them to correspond to. Obviously how the controller functions is what I'm looking for, but one of the coolest things about this is that the fact that I could mail in a PS4 controller that I already had. I sent in my order yesterday. I'll let you guys know how it turns out.